North Korea announced on Saturday that it would hold a ceremony on May 23-25 to dismantle its nuclear test site in a public show of goodwill toward the international community before President Donald Trump's planned summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Kim had previously announced his intention to dismantle the site as negotiations begin over total denuclearization. But many analysts see the move as mostly symbolic with few real commitments to denuclearizing the Korean peninsula. North Korea's foreign ministry announced through state media that it would destroy all tunnels at the site and remove other facilities and guard units, according to the Associated Press. The ceremony is designed to gain positive publicity ahead of the Trump-Kim summit, and the North said it would invite journalists from the United States, South Korea, and several other countries to witness the event. South Korea, which has played an important role in arranging the summit between the leaders of the U.S., and the North said that Kim expressed genuine openness to denuclearization in exchange for eased sanctions and economic benefits to the North's crumbling markets. But analysts suspect that Kim may only consider halting production on nuclear weapons, without fully giving up the missiles already made. Other experts are wary that the North will quickly return to its habit of bombastic threats and aggression, as the isolated nation has been known to do in the past. Despite the doubts, the North's latest effort to demonstrate cooperation with the world is a hardening sign ahead of additional negotiations, and also sets an important precedent for verification as a part of any deal made. Now that North Korea has accepted in principle that agreements should be verified, U.S. negotiators should hold them to the standard for any subsequent agreement. Adam Mount, a senior defense analyst at the Federation of American Scientists, told the AP, It will make it more difficult for Kim Jong-un to deny inspections now that he has placed them on the table, and as the eyes of the world turn toward North Korea, it will be under pressure to deliver on its show of goodwill by committing to further steps to denuclearize the peninsula.